I mean, it was like a privilege to to be a student at Anderson. I had three sisters and two brothers that graduated from Anderson High School. And when I got there, everybody knew me through them. So <laughs> it was really great. My most memorable mo moments at Anderson was walking down the hall, knowing the teachers. The teachers knew you. Uh, they treated you like a mother, if they were female, a male, like a father. And I, those were my most memorable moments. And football games, beauty queens, uh, just some of the teachers that I had. Uh, I was thinking about uh, Miss Frazier. We had her in, as a study hall, and I was in her study hall. And uh, I just, just loved that. And my memorable, some of my other memorable moments was I've never been bus before. I never have ridden a school bus in my life because we lived in the community. Uh, Anderson was at 900 Thompson Street. I lived in the Booker T. Washington Projects and I would walk to school every day, you know, with friends. And then sometimes the parents would pick us up and we would just, just have a wonderful time. Teacher-student relationships were so close, you know, it's not like it is now, you know, where you can't touch your student, you can't discipline. But our parents gave the teachers the permission to discipline us, and I think that's great. Uh, because it, it's like always, you, it takes a village to raise a child, and it really does take a village to raise a child. It was the pillar of the community, and most of the people that went to Anderson lived in the community, you know, and uh, the closing of Anderson was like, it was a great loss to, to us, you know, to us as, as uh, students of Anderson High School. And I just, I'm so proud to be a yellow jacket, you know, it's uh, the black and gold, and I look forward every year for our class reunions and meeting. Uh, different people from different classes, uh, even way back in the 40s, you know, we, it's, it's still people that, you know, communicate and, and participate in the Anderson High School uh, reunions. I was a, a, a jacket, then they, they call them twirlers, uh, football games, uh, under Miss Crawford, and I really enjoyed that with our little black and gold, little short skirts on. We, football games, we go out and uh, uh, participate half time in after we had a great team. We had a great team uh, that year and uh, we just, we was just, uh, it was phenomenal. It was just great. You know, that's all I can say. And I'm, I was glad to be a member of Anderson High School, uh, class of 66. And it's so funny now, I am 66, the class of 66. <laughs> I'm 66 now, so I really enjoyed that. I feel like we don't know our children, you know. We don't know our children as put it in perspective as their parents, you know. If you have a, everybody was special, you know. But we, you have to have that connection, that connection. We don't have that connection in schools now the way we did. Uh, I remember this library, the old library. I remember some of the businesses that was on Leonard Street that look totally different now. Uh, just like I said, I've been here all my life. I remember the times when uh, the football stadium, you know, at Anderson, and all the places on 11th Street or right now is, is very, very different. I remember the housing. The housing is different different now. Uh, they're putting up all the modern houses now. And East Austin is what I will always call East Austin, not Central Austin. The name has changed a bit. But I remember uh, Palmer Auditorium where we have our graduations. It was still there, but East Austin is is it's a jewel. It's a diamond. And, I still live in East Austin and I always live in East Austin.